There are very few areas left to move elephants to, and the very areas to which they were moved are now sitting with their own overpopulation problems. Mm. And so the scope for translocation has um, shrunk and it's, it's, it's really not a workable solution in, anymore. Culling was another method that was used, um, predominantly within our national parks. And this is the process whereby uh, entire family groups were actually destroyed. So we are working on a new methodology for elephants, that is, and that is immunocontraception. And what it actually does is it, it controls the reproductive rate of female elephants in the herd. And the beauty of it is that it is reversible, it is humane, it is cost effective, and it is easily implemented to free ranging animals in the field. And what it does is it simply prevents the female elephant that's been vaccinated from conceiving. So in effect what we are doing is we are lengthening the intercalving intervals, in other words the birth of one calf to another within specific individuals or within a certain population, percentage of the population that you are treating. It's a long term management objective, it's a responsible form of management as it forecasts um, your population into the future and allows you to, to control growth in that sense. So one of our major focuses here at Makaloli has been quite a comprehensive and long-term behavioural study with regards to the contraceptive program. And because this methodology is non-hormonal and non-steroidal, we have not seen any untoward uh, behaviours cropping up as has been witnessed in previous contraception studies with elephants where hormonal implants were actually utilised. We know that we've spared elephants in those populations. So our motto and our goal now is to take it into bigger reserves and bigger parts and, and, and to, to promote this alternative method of humane and ethical elephant management.